Mold versus plume. What's the difference? How can you tell the difference? How bad is it if you smoke a cigar with mold on it? We're gonna answer all these questions right now. Mold, that one's obvious. It is a fungus that grows on wet, decaying matter. Like tobacco leaves. Plume, that's this like magical kind of crystallized texture you get on the outside of a cigar when it ages and those oils dry up and leave, which gets rid of that bitterness. And then the sugars come to the surface and crystallize. And it indicates a cigar that just has supreme flavor. That is what plume is. How can you tell the difference between mold and plume? If you go on the forums, like I did years ago, everyone's gonna mock you. These guys on these forums, they're just like sick of people asking this question and they're like, oh, if you're new to cigars, which many people are, you know, get bent. We're not gonna tell you the answer, go figure it out for yourself. But the answer is so simple. Even if you Google mold versus plume, you'll have big websites like Holtz and JR Cigars and Cigar Aficionado that say, plume is a thing and it's white, whereas mold is colored. But that is not the case. One day, I was browsing around the cigars subreddit and somebody asked this question and I just wanted to go in the comments and see this guy get roasted like I have in the past. But there was a bot that posted a link to a study. The guys over at Friends of Habano said, hey, if you have a cigar that you think has plume on it or bloom, send it to us and we're gonna have it tested. A lot of the cigars that they received looked similar, so they broke them down to 10 different cigars that had a very different, distinct kind of substance on it. When the lab tested all 10 of those cigars, every single one of them came back as mold. After that, the good people at FOH put out a bounty, said if you can provide a cigar that has plume on it, we will give you $250 worth of credit at our store. They didn't just accept any old cigar with a white powdery substance on the outside, they were looking specifically for a crystallized kind of texture. And to this day, they have tested 22 cigars, and every single one of them has been mold. Even after this study came out, there are still people that defend the fact that plume is a real thing and not just a myth. Over at Stogie Press, somebody wrote a very good article that made a case that there is such a thing as plume, so those oils that crystallize, they are great in the absolute perfect kept conditions. But if you keep that cigar just a little too long, it'll turn into mold. So the debate still goes on. However, nobody has proven without a doubt that plume actually exists. So that begs the question, why is this such a heated debate? Why does that even exist? I mean, it seems definitive that plume doesn't exist. Well, where there's cigars, there's money. And where there's money, there's corruption. Say you're a cigar shop owner and you didn't keep your cigars very well. Well, you don't want to lose out on that sale. So I walk into your humidor and I'm like, hey, what's with this cigar right here? It looks a little shiny, I guess. And that tobacconist says, oh yeah, that's plume. That's a good sign. You want to try that out. Trust me, you're lucky I'm not even charging you more for it. One of my friends swears up and down that the Padron 1926 gets this mythical plume on it. He says it gets this very shiny outer coat and that when you smoke it, it is just out of this world. Well, me and my buddies, we think he's confusing plume with tooth. Those are a toothy kind of cigar. And if you wanna know what tooth is, let me know in the comments below. Well, let's say you fell for one of these snake oil salesmen and you bought a cigar that has mold on it thinking it was plume and you smoked it. What's gonna happen? Should you be concerned? Are you gonna die? Most likely not. At most, you'll probably get some allergy type effects, itchy red eyes, dry skin, that kind of thing. You know, as if it was like spring or something. But if you have asthma, it could cause you some very heavy respiratory issues. So we're suggesting you don't smoke it. That being said, if you really wanna smoke that cigar and there is some mold on the outside, you can just like brush it off and smoke it. Shouldn't be much of an issue. However, if the mold is growing inside the cigar and you can see it through the foot, you definitely wanna avoid that. That's not going away, could cause you some serious issues. Don't smoke that. Now, if you're enjoying this kind of like scientific divey stuff into cigars and you want to see something really cool go check out our video on how cigars can affect your testosterone it's interesting